I mean, we got, we've got thousands of people in here. I can't believe you all came. Thank you all for coming. Welcome back to Hannity. We continue now with Democratic presidential candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. I want to go back, and this drives me nuts, because I've been making the case that our current president, I don't think he knows today's Tuesday. He could not sit with me as you are and have this conversation, in my view. I think he is physically weak and cognitively a mess. And nobody wants to say it except the few of us. I want you to look at this tape and tell me if you think he's fit for the job. Take a look. Let's go late and lick the world. For Muslim, for, we cheer for Muslim athletes like Kareem al and, and and Joan, Shingang, I'm going to pass my, Shanga, Ko, Koawa. Ban on transgender Americans, transgender Americans. Mr. President, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. I appreciate it's great to it. have you. It's thank great you. To thank, have you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. It's a very exciting day around here. Um, we'll have a reaction. I met alone with him, just he and I, and a simultaneous interpreter, 68 times, 68 hours, 68 times, more than 68 hours. All right. God save the queen, man. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We really appreciate it, and we love you. Thank you. I might add, if I didn't, I'd be sleeping alone. <laughs> you have to explain. I better explain that. Some don't know what I'm talking about. My wife's a Philly girl. Mr. All right, where are we going? Well, we're going to win, and we're going to help. We have plans to build a railroad from the Pacific all the way across the Indian Ocean. Queen, man. By the way, I met man. with uh, who are those guys that fly over shortly. You heard of him, haven't you? Okay. Do you believe that he is physically, mentally, cognitively strong enough to lead our country? This world is a dangerous place. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., uh, Robert Kennedy Jr., you know that this is a dangerous place. Is he cognitively strong enough to be your president? Well, he's never been very good with words. <laughs> You know, all right, you get an A-plus for that answer. Is he, is he up to the job? I, how, first of all, let me ask, how many of you here think he is not up to the job? Let me hear. Now, I, I know that there's a reluctance for, for politicians, and you're, you're, you're a Democratic Party guy. You said that at the censorship hearing where they censored you. Um, <laughs> And you've devoted your life to things you believe in, and it's probably hard for you to say that, but do you really think he's up to the job? No, but I, I wouldn't, I'm not reluctant to say that for partisan reasons, Sean. No, okay. I, what I've tried to do during this campaign is avoid personal attacks on people. Uh -huh. and, and I, I will say, I will say whether he's up to it or not, whether he's making his own decisions, the decisions that are coming out of the White House are bad decisions. Right. And, you know, they, uh, I mean, the Democratic Party does not censor people, in my experience. Um, we're not the party of war. We're not the party of the neocons dictating foreign policy. We're the party of the middle class, and we're the party of working people. And that's not where the party is anymore. <laughs> 